There's no point in talking about Linux if I can't edit my videos and record in Linux. I would say the Windows counterpart would be Sony Vegas Pro. And that's saying a lot. Kaden Live. Hi, 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 hi. Very good. Alright, another little pond update here. It's been a while since I've made a totally new one, although I've got a bunch of older ones that I still haven't had the chance to upload, but yeah, it's uh, end of March 2010, 2010, however you want to say it. April's about to begin, and I'm um, going to try to get... Uh, good shot here, because we do have a bunch of glare factor, try to block it as best I can, but, um, yeah, these goldfish got pretty big, there's at least several hundred of them in here, it's almost like they're separated into two groups, most of the smaller ones are together, most of the bigger ones are together, although they do intermix at some points, but... It's pretty amazing how big these things have gotten, even over the winter. Pretty cool. Sorry about the glare factor, but um, it's uh, mid-afternoon. The sun is just really out hardcore. Plus, our position, you know, Earth, Earth's position relative to the sun and blah, blah, blah. Just different times of year, the sun is just, like, hitting a bit differently, so. I guess for the pond stuff, I'm more adjusted to when the sun's hitting during the summer. <laughs> and now it's hitting. But, yeah, um, plants are starting to slowly come back to life. <laughs> Just kind <laughs> of see. And even though the, this all looks like hunks of dead mass, looks can be deceiving. Because in those hunks of dead mass, there's a jillion seeds loaded with life. Just <laughs> waiting to be planted and pop up, so... What looks dead is very much alive. We pumped out a lot of the water from over the winter. And we're just letting the hose drip, you know, slowly fill it back up. And we've still got our air pump stuff going. You can see it bubbling. Until the regular pump is hooked up for, you know, the spring and the summer and we've got our waterfall over there going, then, um, still going to need the air hose stuff. And of course, here's Katie. Oh, I'm doing a pondscape update and of course Katie's got to make an appearance. Our little pondscape spokes toddler. What, you? I want cheese. I don't have any cheese. Hi, Dave. I want to talk to Sonia. You want to talk to Sonia? Yes. Well, I'll see what I can arrange in a little while. I told Sonia that you just kind of pop out and ask me to talk to her, so now I've got, like, video proof. You're on video. <laughs> I've got proof. Don't lick the screen, please. That's not nice. Plus, it's icky. Icky, dirty, and you're putting that in your mouth. Ew. Cats wipe their butts on there, and you're going to lick that? Ew. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Ew, it's cat poopies, and you're licking it. Yuck. Ew. Anyway, back to the pond skate. Hold on, Kate. I want to talk to Sonia. Anyway, persistent little toddler. Wanting to talk to Sonia. Well, I'm doing a pondscape update here. But yeah, I guess that's about all I have to show here right now. So, yeah, can you say pondscape.us? Pondscape.us.
U.S. And what do we say when a video is about to end? Sonia. No. What do we say when a video is about to end? Please stop licking the screen. What do Please we? Stop. What do we say when the video is about to end? No, we say bye bye. Bye bye. www.deadfuckingbird.us. Um, looks like um, little sparrow made a bit of a uh, miscalculation and um, ended up in the drowning in the pond. My guess would be. Uh, that probably flying hit the windows and went in so i guess there's more to my update than i thought we got a dead yucky birdie oh well these things happen that's all for now i think as we continue our update into the next day well, it's a much nicer day it's like 70 degrees and you see, I don't even have a jacket on, so it's really warm. Um, I'm taking some of the goldfish that have um, underdeveloped fins. Not to be confused with uh, people from Finland. Bada boom. <laughs> underdeveloped fins and um, putting them back in the pond here so that they can develop. And any that have the big, uh, beautiful flowing fin structures, um, they're staying in the house so that um, we can prepare them for sale. And when we get the indoor pond done, um, we're hoping maybe they'll breed in there too. Then we'll figure out what we want to move out here for breeding as well. <clears throat> and I'm kind of waiting on uh, some hyacinth plants. But apparently because of the cold weather that they've been having in Florida, um, the hyacinth plants are very slow growing at this point. Last year the it was too hot and burned a lot of them out, so there was scarcity. And now it's just um, kind of slow. But as soon as um, they get any in, I'll be able to get at it right away. So, you know, I was told that I would be updated immediately. So that's cool. Because we need those for the goldfish breeding and stuff. We want to try to breed them. <clears throat> I mean, we know how to breed them as far as, like, what we're reading in, you know, online about it. And it's like, well, anybody can read anything. But when it comes to doing it, uh, we're still trying to figure out how to get that to work. So, anybody has any suggestions on goldfish breeding, feel free to comment. But, um, otherwise, this is the update on the pond for the um, for the end of March.